This will be an unusual session because of the number of senators and representatives planning to object to counting some of the electors from disputed swing states. Well, then what happens is they temporarily break up the joint session. They go back to the House, they go back to the Senate, and they debate whether or not that objection should be sustained or overruled. Elections analyst Hans von Spakovsky believes there's little chance a majority will back the objectors. So that's the really the last opportunity that anyone has to question the results of of the election. Uh, as you per- know, you know, there's almost no chance of an objection like that uh, succeeding in either the House or the Senate. Vice President Mike Pence will be presiding over the joint session, and some analysts suggest the rules could allow him to unilaterally decertify disputed electors and toss them out. Spakovsky disagrees. He's just in in uh, overseeing the process of opening and counting the votes. There doesn't seem to be anything in the statute that would give him the authority to actually file an objection uh, to the certification. Still, these demonstrators keep believing that some revelation could possibly change the election outcome, and they insist their concerns and hopes shouldn't be ignored or belittled. The Revolutionary War was about 40,000 people, if I recall, and they literally beat the largest empire in the world. So the church is not a bear that they should have poked. Some here on Capitol Hill say that if the White House was won by fraud and it isn't stopped, that could mark the end of free elections in America. Spakovsky, though, believes that state legislatures have plenty of power and time to investigate and turn things around. They need to use what they find to reform their election process to try to ensure that these kind of problems uh, don't happen again. Paul Strand, CBN News, Capitol Hill.